Jim Harbaugh allegedly in a second in-person interview with the Atlanta Falcons today yeah. uh -huh. after it is being said behind the scenes that Jim Harbaugh basically has to make up his mind on whether or not he wants to be the Chargers coach because allegedly Pete Carroll also wants to be mm. the Los Angeles Chargers head coach and has been petitioning or campaigning for it behind the scenes. I believe Snoop Dogg was one of the first people to report that because of their connections at USC, but also it has been legitimized by others. So this Chargers head coaching search has obviously gotten pretty loud. They've interviewed a bunch of people. Um, Harbaugh in Atlanta, Harbaugh in L.A. What? Seems like Harbaugh is getting the treatment that we thought maybe Bill Belichick would get. Yep. Which is a wild thing to kind of think about. There's now a report about the Bill Belichick momentum potentially slowing down and the conversations about him getting interviews or allowed is maybe some agent spin to try to draw up some interest. AQ, we haven't heard really your take on this. There's a man who coached in the NFL and obviously played in the NFL. When Tom Brady became a free agent for the first time, I was very loud into a microphone on the internet. Like, pfft. Every team's going to want him in the building. Every team is going to want to be lifted and play better. Every single department gets better when Tom Brady comes in there because expectations go up. Now, there are some teams that have had that elevation with greats in the past, whether it's here in Indy with Peyton or elsewhere. But nonetheless, if you're a struggling franchise, you're going to want Tom Brady in there. We thought the same for Bill Belichick. Allegedly, not that much interest in Bill Belichick, a lot in Harbaugh. What's your take on it? Why do you think that's the case? And how do you kind of see it unfolding? So I have so much respect for what Bill Belichick has done, but the biggest thing that we're not really taking, obviously all we see is the body of work, right? And so same thing with Tom. The two things that they have similarities with was Tom was 43 when he became a free agent. Bill Belichick's, what, 71, mm -hmm. right? So how much Boom. more time? I think that's the biggest thing that you say. Like, hey, listen, when you're rebuilding and you want to start from scratch, it's like I need to get at least five years here. I need. Are you going to get that from Bill Belichick? I don't know. What does 77s look like? I don't think I know. On um, Bill yeah. Belichick? <laughs> I don't know what 77 looks like. I right. honestly don't know. I don't either. Mm. Looks like 37 on Bill. We saw him coming out of that little beach house. We oh, know, yeah, on the ring camera. We know that his body. Yeah, he's got a chest as a 50 year old. Yeah, bingo. He's in basically the same shape as The Rock. But as Patriot fan, yeah. the question is not only can he last, but it's can he do what Bill Belichick does in 2024, which is obviously getting pretty loud, seemingly by the critics that said, we have been predicting all along that nobody would want Belichick. But Harbaugh, older, same exact style, seemingly, yeah, yeah. but he's had success as of late with Michigan, so he can obviously relate to the next generation. Is that what everybody's thinking? Yeah, I don't really understand why he wouldn't. I guess like the the age thing, sure, maybe, but that's the one thing I think doesn't matter. Like he's a lifer; he's going to coach in the NFL no matter what. I think the other side of it, like, hey, if Bill comes in here, are we just firing thirty people in our front office immediately, and then he? You know, goes and does his thing, which obviously is has been successful. But those are thirty people that have relationships in the building that have probably been there for a long time. So a lot of drama. A lot of drama. Yeah. Do you want to bring in a guy for possibly? Let's just say if five years is the minimum or the time period. Do you want to get rid of all those people for five years and then have to try and find all those people that you have been building? Because I assume for some of these teams, thirty is a little bit much, but we yeah, have fifteen. Yeah, uh, like ten. 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 E even with those well, the scouting departments, then he's 30, bringing 30 in. Yeah, 30 Ross be, yeah, be. I didn't even think about that. Probably 30 Okay, people. so 30. It's like it, I assume Atlanta hasn't just hired 30 people where they're like, well, we can just fire them when we bring in a new coach. Like I, I'm assuming they like a lot of those people. So like, if that is the debate, whereas Harbaugh maybe is only coming in with a few of his guys, probably some players in the staff, but it's not as if he has a front off. Is there a front office to poach from at Michigan that he's like bringing a bunch of people with? Or? No, and I assume Harbaugh is going to have say in the personnel, but mm -hmm. he's not going to have to bring in the entire personnel department, which is him pretty much. Yeah, or be the GM. He's still pretty connected within the NFL yeah. circles as well. But another thing with Belichick, you know, we talked about Brady, like, you know, what has he done since Brady has left? Oh, no. You know what I mean? So, oh, no. obviously, the body of work, we were all in the league while, you know, they were dominating, so we saw what it was. But that is a question for people. Yeah, a lot of people say he's built Belichick still have his fastball. <laughs> Brian Callahan got hired over him. Yep. Uh-huh. Antonio Pierce got hired over him in Las Vegas. Yep. Tom Telesco got hired. Congrats to Tom. Hey, yeah, boy, Tom. Tom and Antonio Pierce over there. Yeah. Yeah. New head coach. Grizzled uh, veteran GM coming together in the same division. That's why.